The process of artery disease often begins with factors like fluctuating blood pressure. Three key supplements can actually help maintain healthier arteries, even for those with hypertension. Now, these supplements could potentially benefit people of all ages, from young adults to seniors. Before you continue watching, don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your family and friends as you could potentially save a life by spreading proper awareness. Also, I'm always looking to create content that matters to you. So please leave a comment below if there's a specific health topic you'd like me to cover in future videos. As your engagement helps this channel grow and allows me to continue providing evidence-based health information. So that said, I'll be discussing three key supplements that plays a crucial role in maintaining arterial health. For each supplement, I'll cover why it's important for cardiovascular health, recommended dosage, food source rich in this nutrient, how it benefits your arteries. Now these supplements are not just for those with existing heart conditions, they can actually be beneficial for people of all ages as a preventive measure. So let's start with our first key supplement, vitamin D3, which is a hormone crucial for arterial health. And you should consume 1000 IU for every 25 pound of body weight in the summer season and 1500 IU in the winter season. Optimal blood levels range between 80 to 100 nanograms per milliliter or 200 to about 250 nanomillimolar per liter for maximum health benefits. Primary food sources include fatty fish, egg yolks, and beef liver. Since it's a fat soluble and sensitive to heat, cooking at temperature around 356 Fahrenheit or higher for over 20 minutes can result in 10 to 25% loss of your vitamin D content. To preserve the vitamin, avoid overcooking, specifically for fish and eggs. So what's so great about vitamin D3? It actually regulates nitric oxide production, which is essential for maintaining flexible and functioning blood vessels. It reduces inflammation in blood vessel walls, specifically with those currently living with high blood pressure. It modulates the renin angiotensin enzyme, the body's natural blood pressure control mechanism, and enhances antioxidant enzyme expression protecting the endothelium from oxidative stress and damage. Vitamin C being your number two is super essential for arterial health as humans cannot produce it naturally and you should consume 2000 to 3000 milligrams per dose every four hours reaching your tolerance levels. We need a steady supply of vitamin C due to its short lifespan. Consume in powder form or liposomal would be an equivalent of 3000 milligrams per day. Could be mixed with bioflavonoids for increased absorption. Now keep in mind, we are looking for optimal plasma level of 2 milligrams per deciliter or higher or 114 millimolar per liter to be well saturated. Should be consumed on empty stomach. Highest food source would be camu camu, cherries, kiwi, citrus fruits, guava, and raw beef liver. What is so special about vitamin C? Well, it does protect the arterial system by neutralizing harmful free radicals that can actually oxidize LDL cholesterol and damage the endothelium. It enhances the production and bioavailability of nitric oxide, promoting vasodilation. It supports collagen production, crucial for maintaining the structural integrity of blood vessel. In addition, it does have the capability in lowering blood pressure. Your third most crucial mineral is magnesium, and you should supplement with 100 milligrams to 200 milligrams of elemental magnesium every four hours. Now, due to its half-life, you need a steady supply to saturate your RBC cells correctly. Prefer to be consumed with taurine, vitamin B6, and vitamin D3 for highest absorption rate into the small intestine. Do choose magnesium ionic chloride as it has 65% elemental magnesium available and being highest absorption rate. We are targeting 6 mg per deciliter for RBC magnesium or higher, not serum testing. 
best found in fish, avocado, dark chocolate, some vegetables. And keep in mind, cooking can result in up to 50% loss of magnesium content. And due to the oxalates and phytic acid found in some of these foods, we tend to barely absorb up to 10% by the time we ingest and digest. Magnesium promotes the release of nitric oxide, reduces inflammation in the blood vessel walls, acts as a natural calcium channel blocker. Does this sound familiar? Exactly what the doctor prescribed you for blood pressure drugs. Uh, relaxing vascular smooth muscles, regulates systolic and diastolic pressure levels, enhances arterial elasticity, and provides protective properties against hypertension and atherosclerosis. So there you have it. Did you notice that vitamin D3, vitamin C, and magnesium all contribute to nitric oxide production and function? Of course, if you are unable to take all three supplements with the proper dosing, then consider a direct nitrate supplement to activate the nitric oxide pathway. These supplements should be consumed across all age groups. The major benefit is to vasodilate, protect endothelial cells, prevent inflammation, and inhibit platelet aggregation. Check out the video description for a list of scientific data for you to review if you are interested. Now here's a quick bonus. If you've watched that far, magnesium, vitamin C, vitamin D, if consumed together, they have a synergistic effect that can improve endothelial function, balance lipid profile based on your body type, regulate calcium, improve insulin sensitivity, and restore flexibility of your arteries.